Hi there. Good news for NEO shareholders. As you can see, the stock price went up 46% in just one month. An amazing performance. From $3.70 to $5.50. An increase of 46%. This happened because if you look at their latest results, second quarter, here, second quarter 2024, you can see something amazing. The number of deliveries have increased compared to the last year and from the previous quarter, Q1 2024. Let's look at the last year, Q2 2023 and this quarter, Q2 2024. You can see a huge increase from 23,000 to over 57,000. An increase, as you can see here, of over 143% from the last year, second quarter. An amazing performance. And that's why you see this increase in the stock price in the last month, over 46%. Amazing. And if you look at the previous quarter, this year, Q1 2024, you can see another increase from 40,000 to 57,000. Amazing. Moreover, besides those good numbers, if you also look at the last from operations, also net losses, you can see that they are going down. What does it mean? Well, you can see that last year, second quarter 2023, they reported a loss of 6 billion RMB. And now, in the second quarter 2024, their losses have decreased to 5.2 billion. Same for their net losses. A decrease from 6 billion to 5 billion. This means that over the long term, NEO may become profitable, as the analysts expect. As you can see in this graph, the analysts or the market expects that the revenue of NEO will increase from $7 billion to over $24 billion. Moreover, their losses will decrease, as you saw in their reports, and they are expected to become profitable. NEO is expected to become profitable and deliver a profit over 600 million. If that happens and they continue to grow, then the stock price will continue to rise. From the current level of $5, might go to $10. Let's be realistic. It might go to $10. And even more, if they report a higher profit in the future, if they succeed to increase their profit margins, they might offer new services, maybe software services, self-driving. They might come up with new solutions. And that may help to push their margins even higher, to report a higher profit, more than 600 million. If that happens, they succeed then the stock price of NEO may go up more than $10. It may go back to $40. This can also happen. So, congratulations if you are a shareholder of NEO. The number of deliveries have increased quite a lot in this second quarter. Maybe you remember my past videos when I said that in Q1 you will see a decline in the number of deliveries and then in the second quarter this number will rebound back to 50,000. You can check my past videos if you want. So this is great. Number of deliveries are up. Also, the revenue is up. As you can see here, total revenue up from 8.7 billion renminbi to over 17.4 billion renminbi due to higher deliveries. And also compared to the Previous quarter, Q1 2024, 
an amazing growth rate. Their losses have decreased. They have new plans to expand their network, charging and swapping network. This is a competitive advantage for NIO in China, especially this swapping network. And they're also investing in AI. As you can see here, at the AI theme, NIO in 2024, they unveiled major technological breakthroughs across multiple domains, including the in-house developed intelligent driving chip, full domain vehicle operating system, smart system, and intelligent driving. So if one of those solutions becomes a winner, I mean, they attract more customers, then their software business, especially software segment, will be able to make more profits. And that will contribute to their profit margins, their final profit margins, their earnings, which can push the earnings even higher. So the stock price can go up to $10 or even more than that. As long as they keep investing, in R&D, research and development, and they continue to increase the number of deliveries, NIO is well positioned to gain more market share, increase their revenue, reduce their losses, and become profitable. Of course, there is also risk. Be aware of competition. They also compete with Tesla, Liado, Xpeng, BYD, another great company from China. And you also have to look at their balance sheet. They reported that they have 5.7 billion in cash as of June 40th, 2024. But be aware that they also have some debt. You can see here, cash and cash equivalents, 3.3 billion short-term investments over 1.5 billion and others. And then you look at the liabilities. You can see here, long-term borrowings of 500 million, nose payable, 3.3 billion, short-term borrowings, 700 million, and long-term borrowings, 1.5 billion. And if you do the math, the net cash position is with minus. So be aware of that and also be aware of dilution. As you can see, for the last quarters, the number of shares have increased from 1.6 billion to over 2 billion. And this is bad because if they issue more shares, I mean the growth rate of the shares or the growth rate of dilution is higher than the growth rate in their revenue and earnings, then that will be bad for long-term shareholders. So be aware of this risk and also China and trade war between the US and China. As you probably know, there are new tariffs for electric cars in the US, Canada, and also in Europe. And EO can be quite affected in the long term you might see a lot of bad news. So this is the risk you have to be aware of. Not only competition and also business risk if this company can become profitable, but also geopolitical risk, especially trade war. There are a lot of risks. Now, besides this downside, there is also opportunity. NIO has good tailwinds from China EV market. As you can see, it is expected a compound annual growth rate of 17% from 2019 by 2029. So if NIO can grow by 17% or at least 15% or let's say 10%, especially their earnings when they become profitable, then for sure the stock price will go to $10 
and can grow even more than that. That may happen. You can see here the estimates and also the major players. Tesla, Gileaudo, BYD and other small competitors. So you see their compound annual growth rate of 17% from 2024 to 2029. They updated their numbers. And the market size is expected to increase from 300 billion to over or almost 700 billion. Amazing. Now, they also provided some guidance for the next quarter, Q3. And you can see that the growth rate for the next quarter will be around 10% in the number of deliveries, between 10 and 14%, and the total revenue is expected to increase by or between 0.2 and 3.2%. So the growth rate in the revenue won't be that high. It may be flat. So you can't expect next quarter NEO to deliver another amazing growth rate over 100% in the number of deliveries and also in their total revenue. But in the long term, the growth rate may continue to go up. So that's it for this video. And if you have other questions about the risk of NEO or the upside, then let me know in the comments.